Hey guys, it's uh, Coach Ron. Hey, I just wanted to say uh, congratulations on our first game. Even though it was a uh, L in the, uh, it was in the loss column. I just uh, didn't see anything where anybody gave up or anything. Actually, in the fourth quarter, uh, some people were still playing hard, putting in some good hits and stuff. So uh, there wasn't anything I saw from performance-wise out on the field where that team, in my opinion, was any better than us. Um, yeah, they. Uh, um, they were just in better shape and as the strength and conditioning coach even though we hit this kind of very short term and in season uh, that's kind of a hard pill for our, me to swallow so um, with that being said uh, no matter who my athlete is or, or what sport they're in usually immediately post competition I don't immediately jump them back into the program we have what we call a deloading week or what we call a bodybuilding week and it's just a chance to kind of sort your body out and see what's wrong with it. Um, and or if it's dinged up, if you were playing for any amount of time and you're like my age, uh, you're gonna see that uh, um, immediately after something like that, you're gonna have some dings and everything else. So usually what we do is we just kind of do like a traditional type bodybuilding uh, week. So for example, like we might do like a push pull or upper body, lower body split in which uh, we'll do like chest, shoulders, tries one day, and uh, we'll just do say four sets for each body's part or four sets for each portion of the body part if it's something big. So say it's chest and you do like upper, mid, and lower, like uh, dips for lower say, and that'll hit your triceps as well. Mid, maybe some flies either on a machine or a pec deck or maybe even uh, free weights on dumbbells. And then upper body, maybe on some incline press or something like that. You'll hit four sets of like 10 to 20. You could either rotate through all three of those movements and make it like one super set and hit four rounds of that. Or you could go ahead and do, you know, four sets of upper, four sets of uh, lower, four sets of uh, flies or mid, and then move on to your triceps or your shoulders. Um, and the West Side program, what we do is we really on chest day uh, tend to hit um, rear delts and lats because that's normally and, and again some people probably have some questions about that but rear delts and lats are what allow you to press as stabilizers and main movers okay so um those are the two primary uh, body parts that we use for uh stabilization during the press and so after we hit uh, our upper mid and, and lower chest what we would do is we would hit rear delts okay because that's a shoulder movement and then the following day uh, well, let me back up. After we hit our chest, we would maybe do uh, a lower body pull. Okay, so we might do like hamstrings. All right, and then uh, um, what I would do is the following day on a Tuesday, is I'd get in, I'd warm up, maybe ride the bike, move around, do what I call speed yoga, which is where I just kind of do certain movements and just to kind of sort my body out and see maybe I kind of dinged up my left or right hip or you know right knee or whatever it may be and uh you know the gingivitis and that is like kind of flared up or whatever and i kind of want to just move around and feel that out you just want to kind of do enough work to get blood in the area so that there's recovery to kind of get stuff flushed out um so what i would recommend probably out the gate as long as you have nothing acute and what i mean by acute is it's not hot to the touch so if you're injured what i recommend and again let me back up i'm not a doctor I'm just going off of my personal experience and what I would do if I was in your position and my recommendations. But if you're injured, uh, see your doctor. Reach out to the athletic trainers associated with the team um, and get, uh, uh, get a physician or an MD that's able to say this is what you need. Um, my personal opinion is uh, movement is king. So if you can move it around, please do. Okay, that'll get everything moving around and flushed out. Uh, if it's hot to the touch and it's acute, I'm not a big fan of ice, gentlemen. Um, right out the gate, that might help, uh, but there's different technologies and stuff I use in order to help me, and uh, I swear by them. So this is just my journey. I'm not saying it's 100% uh, uh, perfect for everybody, but I will say every one of my athletes, with regards to the weekly notes that I put in probably like a week or two ago, um, the Mark Pro technology is king, in my opinion. There's no better device on the market right now for its money, and that's a M-A-R-C P-R-O. I put it in one of the weekly notes um, probably like a week or two ago now. Uh, great recovery, great um, post-workout, pre-workout, even to warm up just to kind of get things firing. It works on the lymphatic system. You can go on the website, see uh, 
um, see which teams and athletes are using them, and it'll kind of give you an idea of, of what level of athletes use them. I'm affiliated with the company. I have a promo code that'll get you a little bit off, but uh, I get very little, if any, kickback. But um, the reason I affiliated myself with the company is because uh, it works that good. Um, I came about them through the CrossFit community and uh, have never looked back since, even since I kind of started doing my own thing. Um, another thing you might want to look at is uh, supplementation. I would say uh, as we get older, and I don't know what kind of the age demographics on the team are, uh, but uh, um, I swear by BCAs, uh, glutamine, um, creatine, as well as beta alanine, um, all great recovery and power, short-term energy um, related type stuff. I won't get into all the science behind it, but uh, um, I recommend all those. As a matter of fact, I even call them like the fourth, fifth, and sixth macro um, nutrient other than proteins, carbs, and fats. And uh, you, can, you can't get enough of that stuff, in my opinion. Um, again, I'm affiliated with a company with regards to that that has the highest quality stuff. I would just say if there's something you're working with that you feel good with, then stick with that. I would just say be educated on where they're getting their raws from and what I mean by that, where they're getting their base products. Um, the cheap, the pimple faced kid behind the counter at nutrition shop or vitamin store or whatever, not to, to say anything bad about them. They're just gonna sell you something. Um, but uh, uh, um, the cheapest stuff tends to come from China. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, that just is what it is. Um, but uh, the highest quality stuff with regards to BCAAs, um, and uh, glutamine and stuff like that. Uh, there are certain regions of the world like Japan and Germany that those raws come from and you want to ensure that your supplements are coming from there. So um, with regards back to just the movements, um, like Monday, I would do a push pull, upper body, lower body, um, like chest, shoulders, tries, and then um, you know a lower body, like hamstring. The very next day I do an upper body pull, lower body um, press. So it would be like a, uh, uh, since it's a big muscle group, like uh, lats, traps. I do like lats, like pulling lat pull downs, traps, and then do like a lower body either kind of a, uh, I wouldn't do anything big like like squats unless you're doing lightweight, but I'd do something that was very easy and uh, didn't require a lot of balance and coordination like a leg press or a leg extension just so you could get all the juices flowing and kind of sort out what's jacked up and what's not so that throughout the week you can institute you know the technologies like either the treatment from you know PTs and the ATs and or uh, using the technologies that I talked about there's a there's a few folks on the team that I've worked with uh, and or have the devices um, that, that I've mentioned uh, reach out to them and uh, and or ask and I'm sure they'd be more than happy to tell you how good it is um, But uh, that would be like my Monday Tuesday uh, Wednesday I tend to treat like kind of a minor conditioning day um, So that's where we kind of ramp things up like uh, you know kind of the hit high intensity interval training type stuff um, And then Thursday I would take off Okay, and that, this is all just kind of a general template um, but that gives you three days of uh, push pull upper body lower body uh, pull push upper body lower body uh, kind of an intensity day um, which where we kind of what I call chasing intensity dragon which kind of lets you ramp stuff up and um, you can do that upper body lower body I tend to do like crossfit -y type stuff or hit the rower or the assault bike or something like that I take Thursday off um, Friday kind of allows me to kind of do some things and that gives you one week to kind of sort your body out get it all flushed out see where you want to go from there and individualistically work with the AT folks um, if you do have something that that is acute and messed up otherwise hit me up let me know you're gonna have a deload week this week then next week we're gonna jump into it I don't know if anybody's doing Baker to Vegas but that's a consideration as well so uh, um, next week I'll be back on to the normal template um, that I've been sending out and uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything like that, guys, uh, I, I've gotten a few. I haven't gotten a lot. I figured I, I'd have some stuff flooding in. But uh, uh, just real quick, guys, if I, if I could just say one thing. Again, as your strength and conditioning coach, um, I'm here any and all hours. I work early mornings, so I tend to answer texts and messages and stuff at weird hours. But uh, uh, it, it's a tough pill to swallow when... Um, uh, we get beat in that fashion where they weren't any better than us. They were just in better shape. Okay. So what I would ask is if you look at it, um, overall, 
going forward from here. We're in season. There ain't really nothing we can do. So, you know, we can still get better, but it won't be to the extent if we all get on the same page and the coaching staff as well as the athletes buy in that, hey, we're going to do an off season, we're going to do a preseason, and then we're going to do an in season. And I guarantee you that team, if we see them again on the field next year, if it's similar to what it was this year, it's not even going to be close. Okay, and I know some of the guys on that team and wish them the best, you know, but it's not even close. Okay, um, I, I did see times we were calling time house just to give people give people breaks and stuff like that, and I get it. Uh, and this is coming from a mutually supportive position, um, but uh, um, at least from what I bring to the table, um, I think I can offer the team a lot in that area. So next year, if you see this, even though we can move forward and do some really good things this year, next year. Uh, um, prior to the season, there's some things we can do just to hit the ground running. And uh, by the time we show up game one, people are going to wonder, wow, this is a totally different physical team. And then we'll have all the other stuff skill-wise and the rapport with the coaching staff uh, to uh, to make sure we're familiar with the plays and everything else. But uh, otherwise, great first thing, guys. Uh, I mean, it was extremely positive. I can't tell you how many people came up to me and uh, were hitting me up every from the sheriff to the assistant sheriff to all kinds of captains and everything else. And um, I just want to say it's a, it's an honor to be a part of this. I want to thank the uh, board for the opportunity to work with you guys. And uh, we'll get after it, man. So uh, the questions, uh, shoot them to me. Um, my work email uh, is uh, rjdaily, uh, D is in David, A-I-L-Y, at lesd.org. Or uh, my uh, work um, uh, with regards to strength and conditioning is ron at Animal Brain Inc. That's all one word, and it's inc, I-N-C dot com. And uh, I'll answer any and all questions. But uh, hey, just one thing, guys. Uh, I heard there was a dude that uh, ruptured his Achilles. Uh, I don't know what old boy's name is. I haven't gotten any feedback email-wise from some of the questions I sent out. If anybody knows who he is and can shoot me his his stuff to uh, to my email, I'd appreciate it. I blew mine out in 2008-2009 uh, um, preparing for my second CrossFit Games. And uh, I'm sure I could probably give him in insight because uh, that was a long that was a long haul, man. That was 16 months for me. So uh, maybe if uh, he's open to some feedback and uh, some input to help him uh, go through that journey, I'd be more than happy to help him out. Um, so uh, my understanding is he came from an outside agency, but uh, that's pretty much all I know. So otherwise, great job, guys. Um, and uh, you know we move forward from here and get after it. So thanks for your time. Uh, again, just kind of sort your bodies out, do the bodybuilding thing, get everything moving. And if you have any questions about any of the technologies or supplements and stuff that I brought up, uh, please hit me up. If you don't, I'm not, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here to tell you what works best for me. So um, that's it. I'm looking forward to uh, the upcoming season and uh, the New York trip, man. So I'll be there. Okay, guys. Hey, man. Peace.